Hello everyone and welcome back to our Cricket 24 Courier Mode, episode number 17 of the series here. We are taking on Auckland in this three-day club match. They are top of the table. We need to win this one to win or to have a shot at winning the Shield. And would you believe it? Yeah. 458 is what they put on. They absolutely smoke us. I'm surprised we didn't get a bowl. To be honest, it was that bad. 458 all out. Two for 137 for Joe. None for 103 for Vi. It was pretty grim figures all around. We mustered a run out, actually, of Jameson in the 90s. So that's something. All things considered, we started okay with the bat. Two for 128. Larka got 68. Ben got 7. And we're batting with our good friend Mahana Kalpa yet again. We're going at 4.5 per over here. So it's a pretty good effort from Worry so far. We've really had a crack at it. The goal from here, though, is very much to try and increase our selection status. We're sitting in a position for the first time in our career where selectors are actually watching what we're doing. We're a fair way off making the Auckland Aces as of right now. And so our job is to try and improve our chances as much as possible whilst trying to keep our team in this match for as long as possible. Because 458 is a massive score. And I don't know how we're going to get there if we aren't going to score runs. So it's going to be down to us. The main thing is just play sensible cricket. That is a good shot. There should be a couple in it. We will just about get there to two. And we are off the mark. Laggy tell the left arm up to us here. The first sign of pace for us in this match. Short mid wicket. Short mid on. Oh, and he's gone short immediately. Going to be pulled away. We should be able to come back for a couple, and we will. He is very brave here. No mid-wicket. Yeah, and perhaps too brave. I think it's only going to be a couple. No, it's going to be four. He stepped on the rope. First boundary for us as Deep Square makes a mistake. Oh, dear. He actually went to flick it back. But by the time he gets his foot where the ball was, the ball's beat him. Oh, he's bowled him. Would you believe it? Watching to try and get Cowper to his 50. Jameson cleans him up. Slides it back towards off stump, off the back foot. Punching it away for a couple Cowper was aiming for, and he misses it. Gone for 48. That's a big moment in this match. Oh, dear. Second leading run score for this team, and he's gone. And it brings Mahana Joe to the crease. Going to shuffle across a little bit here. Yeah, pays off. Straight through square for four. The shuffle works in the end. Outside off, but that's exactly where we are. Now Jameson becomes our target here, or our threat. Because he's got all three wickets. He's got us out before as well. So this battle is very much on, and this could decide the fate of this match. Shot. Lovely shot. Opening up the offside, and we beat mid-off through extra cover. And it will reach the rope. First boundary through the offside. Yeah, nice. Flicked away. That should just skittle across this fast outfield, and it will. Move to 20. Oh, lovely pull shot. Over the head, but it does not work. We pounced on it. Wow. Really dug this in. Look at that as a pull shot. Got to start here. The lead is underneath 200. That is lovely. The quality starting to ooze out from our batting here. Really presenting the best version of our player right now. And that is three runs down the ground. Now here, Punya into the attack. We're very much leading this charge here. Oh, that one's more down leg. That's going to be four. Really just pouncing on these loose deliveries here. Oh, that one gets us really good. What a bouncer. It was short, but it wasn't too short. You can see the number six ball there. And we've ducked straight into it. Leak is proving to be a very dangerous threat here. He is bowling the occasional loose delivery. And the occasional bouncer here and there. But he's just really hurrying me up with his pace. Oh, goodness me. The backup really did have to do all the work there. Jameson is back. We've really started to get ourselves set in here today. 35 from 46. Joe 17 from 40. Yeah, shot. Tossed up from Jameson. I think it's going to reach the rope because cover left it. And it does. You can see it's just a bit more width on this one. I'm able to get to the pitch of it. <laughs> He's in the helmet, the captain. That does bring up a 50-run partnership as well between myself and Mahana Joe. 
50 from 82. Nice. Mahana Joe's on 23. He's slowly building here. Really trying to stay with us. 260 runs is a lot of runs, but if anything, this pitch has so far proved very placid for most of the bowlers. Player in short. Silly point, I think. And we're going to hit it through his legs, or just about. Straight past him. That will be a couple. Move into the 40s. Batted for over an hour. Got ourselves very much set now. And the field completely spreads. Probably indicating where we sit now. We want to try and keep rotating the strike. Because it looks like the other team doesn't want us on strike at all. That brings up 200 runs for the worry side. Shot. There it is. Extra cover is the gap at the moment. Really just trying to take advantage of it while it's there. We'll just be the two, I think. Yes. Nice drive. Again, through that extra cover region. Again, not a lot of timing. Still only a couple. But Joe's doing well. We've moved to 48. Things are ticking along here. Yeah, that's a really, really bad ball. We're trying to bring 50 up here. And we will do so with a quick scampering of two. There it is. Yet another one. There you go. Just raise the bat. An hour and a half or so. We, we have worked hard for it. But the pitch has kind of played in our favor. We've kind of played our matchups. And uh, we're doing quite well in that result. I think that is now over 1050s in my career thus far with the weary side. It's good to get another one with the selectors looking on. But you know what the selectors would really love to see? A ton. We still trail by 246 on the board right now. Yeah, that's a lovely punchy drive. That should actually reach the rope this time. Jameson's just proving too predictable. Too much width. We're just able to guide it through the offside once again. And this time, come back for a rare three. You can also see that this pitch is really cracking up. It's at the back end of the season. So things are kind of playing a little bit lower and slower than the start of the season. And it looks like he's gone a very bouncer-heavy tactic here. Leg, gully, and all. Gone. That's the partnership broken. Jameson, would you believe it, yet again. He's got four for 77. Partnership of 84 comes to an end. Utapa to the crease. Still need about 230-odd runs in this match. No! I knew it. I knew as soon as I hit that delivery, it was going to be out. And that's probably the game. Oh, that's disappointing. I fell right for his trap. That's the second time I reckon I've fallen for this. Did not need to hit it. Just felt, you know what, I'm going to guide it past him. But I've guided it straight to him. Literally could not have picked him out better. 60 off 80, I go for. That's a disappointing end. We were really ramping it up there. Finn Matthew to the crease. And this should be all over for us in a hurry. And I'm not wrong. We come to the crease with 1150s now. 300s. We scored 302, Utipa made 32, and then it really fell away after we got out. And we followed on. Kalpa for just four, Ben for 13. We're batting with Larka at the beginning of day three of this match here. Once again, up against Larka, who's now got an idea of how to get us out. We trail by 128 runs. What, what time is it? It is currently 11.49 a.m. So we've still got pretty much a whole day of play. And it's all falling to bits here. It really is. Rahul gets Larka. He was averaging 55 as well. And yet here he is. He's got a wicket straight away. And all of a sudden, we've got to guide Wurry to a draw. I mean, actually, it doesn't even matter. Because we've followed on at this point. A loss is a loss. There's actually, It actually does not matter, I think, whether we win or lose this match from here. Or sorry, whether we lose or draw the match. Because it's the same result. So we just get to bat. The selectors are going to watch us here in a pretty down-and-out scenario. What are we going to be able to produce? If we're going to lose, though, we want to make sure they bat again. Yeah, that's it. Lovely straight drive. Top quality, that will be four. Great way to get off the mark. Nice. Rode the bounce nicely through mid-wicket for four. Oh, my goodness me. We've absolutely drilled it. Yes, lovely shot. He crept in front of square. That square leg. He pays the price with a boundary. 50 up for the worry side. 
Got to try and show some grit here. You know, the weary side are truly down and out. 3 for 51. This is really, really horrid viewing if you're a weary fan. Oh, yes. That is easily the best shot of the match for us. Creamed through the covers. Back of a length, and it's just sat up right in the middle of the bat. Oh, yes. We're liking Rahul's bowling back to back. Thank you. If we've got nothing to lose, then let's go out and prove it. We've already smashed Rahul around here, and I'm absolutely on fire. Going three in a row, and there it is. Three back-to-back -back boundaries. Doesn't matter where Rahul is bowling. We are absolutely picking it right now. He's getting a talking to. 24 from 23. Three boundaries in a row. Where's he going to bowl now? Oh, somewhere, but I think it's going to be four again. It is. What is happening? Four in a row. Back of a length again. This time it was finer. I thought fine league had a chance for a moment, but no, we've just got timing yet again. Right in the good spot for four more. He's going to go. We're going to go five in a row here. But it's an extra cover in place, but he can't get there. It's five in a row. It's five boundaries in a row against Rahul. Would you read about it? You will now. It's full in the slot. It deserves to go through extra cover. Extra cover should field it. He doesn't field it. It's four. Straight to him. It didn't require an anything more than two more steps or hands to the ball. But Laka can't get there. Wow. Was that a passage of play or what? Five back-to-back -back boundaries. I did not think we had that in us. Five boundaries in a row. I'm still... I'm on an absolute high right now. I really am. That's what it must be like to be a T20 player. To just keep hitting boundaries. The adrenaline shot just flowing through your, your body. It's crazy. Nice straight drive this time. Hasn't got much timing. But surely we're going to get enough for two. Joe and myself combining well again here. Turns out when we don't run each other out, we're pretty good teammates. Oh, he's trying this again. The leg gully's in place. The short mid wicket's in place. The square leg's in place. Yep, you can see what they're doing right here. Leg gully, square leg, short mid wicket. Very much trying to get me to play the pull shot this time. Not so much. I'm going to be very much defensive in my mindset here. Well, who who would have thought? The old body line tactic once again. Seems to have slowed my run rate right down. Who would have thought? I mean, it's just a classic, isn't it? Lunch on day three. With 39 not out of 41. Joe, 16 of 40. Partnership is about 61. Still try by 67. But once again, we're doing a pretty good job here. With 60 in the first dig. 39 in the second. I tell you what, just sneakily, we'd love a nod out here. 3 for 100. At 3 for 29, you wouldn't have seen that coming. But this is a good counter-attack from Worry, including myself. Down the ground again for another couple. We move into the 40s. Yeah, lovely. Flicked away. Too straight. Bad ball from Tauwe. Punished for four. Well, well. Rahul is back. We'll be looking to try and pick him off for some easy runs here because he seems to be a bowler we are really enjoying. He's bowling a good line in length and he's making it easy for us to score. Plus, I've picked on him once this game and I just feel like if I've picked on him once, I'm just going to keep picking on him. Oh, the best shot of the lot because that's one shot we don't play normally at all. Backing away and cutting. Well, after the boundary spree, he's bowling very well. Until, of course, as soon as I say that, I have a good jinx for once. On drive for four, bringing up our 12th 50 of our career. Back to back in this match. 52 from 61. Love to flick him for six. I really would. Oh, he's gone after it. Why not? One bounce for four. Up and over. The strokes are coming out. As I said, there's no reason to kind of hold back. And it was right in the slot. The field was there for it. Oh, yeah. Nailed it, too. Through square leg right now. Yeah, square leg was open. And it will race away once more. We're giving the worry fans something to cheer about right now. 62 from 65. We trailed by just 16. And again, through square leg. That will be four more. We've peppered that region today. That brings up the 100-run partnership, I think between myself and Joe. 
We've scored about 66 of them. 113 run partnership of 128. We've really gone about, a, I say a rebuilding job. We've really gone about a demolition job, to be honest. Joe into the 40s. So he's actually had two good innings in this game so far as well. Through square. Should get there. No, he won't. Can't believe he won't get there. He's only five meters away. But such is the confidence and the timing that we are in this match. And this matchup against Rahul goes to the boundary. All right, I think this is actually the matchup here. Balzac, league cup. He's got the short league field in place, and he's immediately going for the bounces. We kind of saw this coming. We are in the lead. Yep, the field gives way, and the boundaries come. Four wides in this over. Shocking bowling. It really is from Leaker here. He's got two balls left. He has bowled those two balls four times, though. We'll just be the one. We finally get off strike. Lovely stuff. 78 from 75. One of my fastest innings in this career mode so far. That's for sure. We are on 78. We have a run out controversy here. I couldn't really get the gist of what happened live. But basically, he's edged it through to point. And I've said yes, no. You know, the classic yes, no. The problem is Joe dives short. His bat goes into the ground before the crease. And then he shuffles round. It hits the stumps here. As you can see from this angle, you can see nothing's grounded. The bales are clearly off. Nothing has been grounded behind the line yet until there. But I think the game has counted half step as him being grounded. Very controversial stuff there. Lucky because we've been through some runouts. That would have been runout number three from myself to him. Luckily enough, he drives it through the covers. None of that will matter anymore. He reaches 50 off 91. Well-deserved, Mahana Joe. He's batted very well. We currently lead by 25. It's 2.35, so we've still got about two and a half hours, probably actually three hours. If not, maybe even four hours before Stumps has been, is going to be called here. Taking center once more, but 82 of 78 is what we're on. We've only scored 300s in our whole career. Could today be number four? He's bowled me a full toss. It could have gone anywhere, but straight to the field it will go. Yeah, flicked in the gap. That was a, another bad ball from Punya. He really risks those bowling that sort of line. We move into the nervous 90s. We have never been out of the 90s, but we've been dropped in the 90s. So this will be very nervous. Don't worry about that. That's another bad one, though. That really is shocking bowling. It will reach the rope again. Back to back. Oh, it was on leg stump. That was a bit more risky, I will say. But it will be pulled back in the rope. It will be two. Gonna get it in the gap. Just the one though. 97. One shot away. Pulled, but there's no leg gully there today. Don't worry about it. Scamper through for one. 98. Okay. Driven straight. That will bring us to 99. There it is. 100. For worry, number four. One of the more inconsequential ones, but it's a hundred all the same. We've shown some fight. We've shown some stroke play. Look at me go. I'm very ecstatic about it. 102 off 98. 17 boundaries. Wow. What an innings. What are we going to do now? Now that we've got a hundred, we can do anything. I'm not sure what we're going to do, but I really kind of want to get a nod out. Send a message to the selectors that, you know what? We're not just going to get 100 and throw it away. We're going to get a big 100 here. I'm not entirely sure when T is, but 346, we might have actually had it already. That means we should be into the final session of play here. Oh, shot. There's no one down there. He's very wide. Oh, he will get there, though. It's a good shot regardless. If you haven't seen many highlights since I got my 100 here, it's really just because... There's nothing new to report. This is basically what I'm doing. I'm just heading to the players in the deep, kind of working it around, using the fact that I've got to 100 so fast as a platform to kind of just work it around and see if I can actually get to the end of the day unbeaten because there's still another three hours to go. And I could just get out, but I don't want to. I'm so, I'm so selfish in that way. I want to just bat through to the end of the day. So I'm going to try and just find a way to get there. Yeah, good shot. 
Through the offside. I think it's still only going to be the one. Oh, no. Oh, yes, Joe. Don't worry, buddy. We've got you. Woo! Don't want to run him out. He's on 80. What a stitch up that would be. It's like a high score for him. Meanwhile, amongst all the chaos, what a partnership. 216 of 260. We've scored 115 of them. Fantastic work. From 3 for 29. We've absolutely nailed this comeback. Would love to see Joe get 100 as well. Sharp. Lovely. Drive through the offside. We'll be a 4. I think that's the first boundary since we've hit 100. Joe's on 88 now. 12 away from what would be a magnificent century. Probably better than mine, actually. Dare I say. Oh, 96 he moves to. Balzac Lika is back. He's got five fielders outside the circle. 22 overs left for the day. He's on 96 right now. Oh, no. It's heartbreak. Would you believe it? 96. He's so close to 100. The slower ball and he's dragged it on. He cannot believe it. Neither can I. So, so disappointing. 96 of 183. He deserves 100. He really fought hard for it. The partnership is broken. 20 overs out from the day's play ending and the game being over. 246 of 315 was the partnership. That slower ball just seeming away enough and he drags it back to off stump. Sometimes you just can't write the script. What a partnership it was. And I don't know what's happening here. Have we declared? Matthews walked off. We have declared. Utipa gets out for one. Matthew gets four. We make 129 not out. And after Joe can't get 100, he says, screw it. Let's, let's bowl. We've got about an hour and a half to go. So they're definitely not getting 132 in an, an hour and a half, I don't think. But nonetheless, we've actually done it. Made it to the end of the innings. And now our job is done. The match is over. Jameson gets the player of the match. He got four for 94. The match is drawn. We do go down by first innings points, but what a comeback from the weary side. We then made 60 off 80 before hitting it into the hands of Leg Gully, which was a big disappointment as the innings fell apart shortly after. Despite wickets falling very early, we were three for 28. The massive partnership between myself and Joe Brought us to a score of 5 for 287, as we made 129 not out of 135. And Joe, a heartbreaking 96 off 183. And put ourselves in a position to bowl at them in the last hour. Not much really happened. But hey, we at least got a bowl at them. And we got a not out for ourselves, which is extremely awesome to see. Let's see where our selection status and stats lie after this performance. And our 129 runs not out has meant that Mahana Joe has decided to step down and has offered us the captaincy for the Auckland Region Championship for Worry. Of course, being the captain comes with some responsibilities. You'll need to sort out the team lineup before matches as just one of the added duties. Fantastic stuff. I love the look of my room here, by the way. This is really good. Those paintings. Nice. Look at that. Typing away. Replying. Accept. And we've done it. We've got the achievements signed up. Accept a contract offer in career mode, which I don't think really is what we're doing because I think we're accepting the captaincy. But nonetheless, we've accepted it. It is a contract all the same, I suppose. And even better news. We are a long way off the Super Smash, but we are getting attention for the Plunkett Shield and the forward trophy for the Auckland Aces because we are now the captain of the weary side. So we have to pick this lineup against Takapuna. Let's take a look where we are. We are now 60 overall. And yes, this means we can bowl once more. I'm very excited for that. It is about time, I think, Finn Matthews stepped down from this side. And Lotto Titus takes his spot in this team. While taking a look across the season board, we top the runs. 825 at 82.5. The three-day stuff is really our strength, and it's showing again today. We're actually on the player of the series list, too. Nonetheless, what a great episode it was. Thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy this one, please make sure to leave a like. Subscribe for more content such as this. Comment down below your thoughts on our magnificent innings of 129 Not Out. And let me know how many episodes you think it will be before we make the Auckland Aces side. Because it feels like it could just be a few more. 
Thank you to all the members who help support the channel and keep the channel ticking along. It really does mean a lot. And until the next episode, everyone, take care.